guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, it is that time of the month again. It is time for another book box battle video. But as you guys can probably tell from the thumbnail and title, this isn't going to be one of my regular book box battle videos. It's kind of going to be in ultimate book box battle video because I'm not only battling two boxes against each other, I'm battling three. That is right. I'm going to battle Owl Crate, Fairy Loot, and Lit Joy Crate. So I know I had originally planned just to battle Owl Crate versus Fairy Loot, but you guys were amazing enough to let me know that all three boxes this month were featuring the exact same book. Why I didn't think to check which books was going to be in all of these boxes, I have no idea. So I'm going to end up with three copies of the exact same book. I'm probably going to give one or two in a giveaway, but I really wanted to battle all three of these boxes against each other at one time because it features the same book, and I really wanted to see how each box and kind of interpreted that book into their theme, and because each of these boxes have exclusive copies of the book, which means they change the book in some way that is just exclusive to that box. So not only am I going to be battling the boxes against each other, I'm also going to battle the books against each other. So at the very end, I'm going to decide which exclusive design of this book I like the most. So yes, that means we have three boxes to get through. So it's going to be a little fast. Um, I know I tend to ramble a lot, so I'm going to really try not to. But yeah, guys, that is what we're going to be doing. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. So guys, I really want to start with Fairy Loot first because I am just so excited. I have wanted to get Fairy Loot for so long, but I was so hesitant because of the shipping costs because it does come from the UK, but Fairy Loot actually just announced on their Instagram that they are actually going to have a distributing center here in the USA, so shipping costs should be a lot cheaper. So yay, <laughs> but let's get right to this guys. Oh, look at the box. That is so pretty. Sneak peek as usual. And on top is the spoiler card. And yes, the theme for this month was Broody Banter. So spoilers on the back. I'll keep that close at hand just in case. And look, they have purple squiggies. That is so cute. Let me throw them on the floor. And right on top, we have some tea. This is mermaid tea inspired by Lyra, strawberry and kiwi flavor. Oh, and it has instructions on the back. So Lyra, is this from To Kill a Kingdom? Yeah, inspired by Lyra from To Kill a Kingdom. Huh. I'm a little confused because I actually read To Kill a Kingdom because they had said that they were going to have some items featuring that book and I have never read it. But Lyra is a siren, not a mermaid. And in the book, she hated mermaids. And mermaids didn't even look like this in the book. So that's a little confusing. It should be called Siren Tea. But yeah, strawberry and kiwi. I actually love those. So I might actually try this one. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Whew. I definitely smell the kiwi. <sighs> mm. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I do not like tea. I have been trying to get an acquired taste to it. So, I'll probably try this. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. But next, I see, ooh, it's an enamel pin. This is Blood Witch enamel pin inspired by Aiden from The Witchlands. Oh, I have been wanting to read The Witchlands. It is on my TBR. It's like a whole series, so I've just not had the time to invest in an entire new series. So it's like an arrowhead with like blood dripping down, a little creepy. And it says, sometimes justice was all about the small victories. I love enamel pins, so I really love that they included one. I'm not sure if they always do or not. Again, this is my first box from them. But yeah, this is so cool. I really want to read this series. So when I do, I already will have some merch for them. And next we have an iron on patch. It says Raven Boys, inspired by Ronan from the Raven Boys. It says, I am being perfectly effing civil. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Okay, so 
I'm actually reading The Raven Boys right now. It is my current read, and I love Ronan. He is so broody. Like, that's such a perfect character to feature for broody banter. I don't know what I'll actually put this on, but yeah, I love the quote. Oh, and it has directions on the back. Thank God. Next, I see Broody Banter Paperclip Set. This is amazing. So it's different characters. Hold on, let me see. Jace from the Mortal Instruments. I think that's this one. He has like a rune on his neck. Jax from the Caraville series. I think that's the one with the apple. I have not read that series. And then Rowan from Throne of Glass series and a general quote. My favorite definitely is Rowan just because I love the Throne of Glass series. And then I love the quote, mad but fab. That is so true. I honestly plan to use these as bookmarks. Just kind of put them in there. This is such good quality. Yes. Next we have some socks. You guys know I love socks. Simmer Down Kitten Ankle Socks Inspired by Damon from the Lux series. I have actually not read that series either, but let's take a look. Oh, it has a kitty on there with Simmer Down Kitten. And then on like the back, it has like some scratch marks. This is so cute. I love ankle socks. So I, I'm a fan. And next we have... Ooh, it's the reading journal. They did say something about this on their Instagram. So this is the reading journal from for July to December. So I think they do like two a year. Um, I did not get the first one. Oh, I, I love this. You guys, this is amazing. Wow. Okay. I have to move on, but wow. Next we have a wood bookmark. You guys know I love wood bookmarks. He tasted of sweet liquor, every delicious dark dream she'd ever had. Elise Kova, Fire Falling. I'm not familiar with this book, but this is such a pretty bookmark. And on the back is the Fairy Loot logo. So yes, it can go with all of my other bookmarks. And next we have a box with the Fairy Loot logo. And it says, and above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Rolled doll? Huh. It is a book box. Holy rabies. This is gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. And like on the inside, it has quotes. I'm not gonna read all the quotes and everything, but this is so cool. And it's like a magnetic, like it just automatically closes. This is amazing, okay. This is definitely my favorite item so far. Wow, fairy loots. Uh, okay, I have to move on, I have to move on. <laughs> oh, next it looks like a little advertisement thing for Shadow and Flame by Mindy Arnett, which is out now apparently. So cool. Next I see, it's their like monthly tarot cards. And you guys, it is Harry Potter. The first one is the magician and it's Dumbledore and Fox and he has the elder ones. And the next one I think is Malfoy and it's death. And his thing even has snakes on there. This is amazing. So they include these in every box. I think they do it in like series, like it's, the same series for a few months with the same artist and then they change it up. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad my first one was Harry Potter. I'm definitely gonna feature these on my bookshelf. Uh, yes, yes, you guys, just yes. And next, oh my God, you guys, it's Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, I love that series. Oh my gosh. And there's more on the back. It's like one of those comic books type thing and it says nephew show our customers how happy you are to serve our tea i'm not happy not happy serving tea impossible oh my gosh uncle iro oh you guys i am such a geek for this series and this is the best art prints that i have ever gotten like i love art prints but the fact that they made it into like a comic book kind of thing I love this. This is my favorite art print ever. 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 Ugh, you guys. If you have not watched Avatar The Last Airbender, it is a must. 
And guys, we are finally to the book. And this is my first fairy loot bag. I'm so excited. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, so we have a bookmark and it has kind of the same design as our spoiler card. Oh, and we also have a letter from the author with an art print. That is so pretty. So this is for the book. I love the green and that cat is so cute. And finally, we are to the book, and the book is Sorcery of Thorns. Look how gorgeous this cover is. But guys, what makes this exclusive to Fairy Loot is the sprayed edges. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they actually sparkle. And I think it's signed by the author. Yes, it is. Let's see what it looks like without. Okay, so just green and then gold on the spine. Okay guys, I'm gonna read the description real fast. This will be the only time I read it because it's the same book, so. All sorcerers are evil. Elizabeth has known that as long as she has known anything. Raised as a foundling in one of Ostermore's great libraries, Elizabeth has grown up among the tools of sorcery. Magical glimmers that whisper on the shelves and rattle beneath iron chains. If provoked, they transform into grotesque monsters of ink and leather. She hopes to become a warden charged with protecting the kingdom from their power. Then, an act of sabotage releases the library's most dangerous grimoire. Elizabeth's desperate in intervention implicates her in the crime, and she is torn from her home to face justice in the capital. With no one to turn to but her sworn enemy, the sorcerer Nathaniel Thorne, and his mysterious demonic servant, she finds herself entangled in a centuries-old conspiracy. Not only could the great libraries go up in flames, but the world along with them. As her alliance with Nathaniel grows stronger, Elizabeth starts to question everything she's been taught about sorcerers, about the library she so loves, even about herself. For Elizabeth has a power she has never guessed and a future she could never have imagined. <sighs> this sounds so Good. I figured this book would be amazing since three boxes featured it. I'm so excited to read this. Yes. Yes. Let's take a quick look at the fairy scoop. Um, it just gives us an interview with the author. The They have a read-along, which will be starting July 15th. It has a deleted chapter from the book. <gasps> do they always do that? That is so cool. And next month's theme is Magic in the City. You can expect items inspired by Shadowhunters, Harry Potter, yes, Percy Jackson, The Girl at Midnight, and more. Uh, da -dum, da -dum. Ooh, and a ceramic mug. Shadowhunter fans will not want to miss. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. So guys, that was everything from Fairy Loot. As always, you'll have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, this book box is amazing. I love this. The tarot cards, the paper clips, the art prints, just everything um, except for the tea. If I had to pick a least favorite, it would be the tea, but that's going to be my answer always if there is a tea in the box. This was such a good box from Fairy Loot. But guys, we still have two more boxes to get to, so let's go ahead and open Lidger Crate. We'll save Owl Crate for last this time. We'll change it up a little. The theme this month was Restricted Section, so I'm really hoping for some great Harry Potter stuff. The first item I see, ooh, oh, it's a tote bag. This is gorgeous. Libraries, where sh happens. <laughs> that is so cheeky, Lidger Crate. I, I love it. And next we have a puzzle? Hold on. It is a puzzle. That is so cool. It has Hermione with the wand and you can see Crookshanks. And then it has Belle with like Mrs. Potts and Chip. And then it has, I'm not sure who she is. There's chocolate cake. Oh, and there's Dobby. This is so cute because the books, like it's The Cruel Wince, Glossary of Thorns, Six of Bros, <laughs> Throne of Sass, Advanced Lotion Making. I don't, I still don't know who she is. Is this supposed to be Matilda? I don't know, I don't know. I think that might be Matilda. We'll find out at the end. When we look at the pamphlet, I, I love this. 
Next, I see Ledger Crate exclusive book plates, set of 10, and it's a Niffler on there. These are like stickers. It says restricted section. If found, return to the home library of, and then there's like a blank you can put your name on, and it's like a baby Niffler. Oh, that is so cute. Restricted section, yes. And next, it's Tom Riddle's diary. Oh my gosh, holy rabies, y'all. This is so cool. So it's just a blank notebook, but it came with a pen, I think, which has a light. Oh my God, you guys. I think this is invisible. No, hold the phone, hold the phone, guys. Can you see it? What about now? My mind is blown. Oh my God, this is amazing. Wow. Just wow, Literary Crates. And next we have their monthly trading cards. Let's take a quick look. So we have, I think this is Clara, Clary, Clary? From the Mortal Instruments. And then Jace, I think. So you guys know I love these. I love that we get to add more to our collection. And of course, the letter from the author with an art print on the back. That is so pretty. I think though, I like the art prints from Fairy Loot more, but they are both gorgeous. I can't draw or anything at all, so. <laughs> Next we have the book. Oh, okay. So it didn't come in a Literary Crate pouch. Maybe they're not doing it anymore. But let's take a look. So you guys know it's the same book. I've already read the description. It is signed. And it also has the art print in the book. Let's see what it looks like without. Oh, so it's different. Black and green with a silver edge. But the thing that makes Literary Crates so different is their reversible dust jackets. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, I like this. So guys, that was everything from Ledger Crate. Let's take a quick look at the pamphlet. This shows the artist for the art print was Rosie Thorns. The library tote bag was designed by Katarina Book Designs. The Niffler book plates was designed by Katarina Book Designs. The Avid Reader's Puzzle with your three favorite bookworms, Belle, Matilda, and Hermione. So it was Matilda. That chocolate cake, I just... I loved Matilda growing up and so I just remember her saying too tasty for children or too good for children it's been a while but I love that movie and though that was designed by Rosie Thorns and then Tom Riddle's diary notebook with invisible ink pen I mean it doesn't say who it's designed by but that was everything that's that was everything and yes the trading cards it was uh, Jace and Clary um, Always designed by Gabriella Budojo, Budojo, and I always butcher her name. And then the June optional add-ons was their monthly enamel pin and a monster book of monsters plushie. And next month's theme is Defender of Dragons. Okay, so guys, that was Ledger Crate. As always, you'll have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? I mean, I loved everything from this box. Definitely did not have a least favorite. My favorite, as you guys know, was Tom Riddle's diary with the invisible ink pen. That is just so freaking cool. This was just an amazing box from Ledger Crate. Um, it doesn't feel like we got as many items as we did in Fairy Loot. That's probably, again, because they pulled two items out of the box to make them add-on, so we have to pay extra. You guys know my opinion on that. I'm not going to say anything else. But the items we did get this month, I love. They, I can't complain about anything we got this month. I loved it. Such a great box. God, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> and we are to our final box, which is Owl Crate. On top, as usual, is the spoiler card. It is Libraries of Wander. And right on top, I see a key. I think it's, oh, it's a pen. Oh, that's cute. So it's a key gel pen, and it was designed by Team Owlcrate. Okay, that is super cute. I love this color blue. So yes. And next we have a box with Owlcrates, and it's 
Libraries of Wonder Coaster Set. Use these adorable coasters to protect the surfaces in your home library, featuring quotes by Sarah J. Moss, Victoria Schwab, J.K. Rowling, and Rachel Kane. Designed with love by KDP Letters. Oh, I love KDP Letters. She's the one who designed our glass of water bottle last month. I'm trying not to rip the box. Come on. Okay, and the first one is, when in doubt, go to the library. I love this. This is so pretty. So of course this is Harry Potter. Next we have, imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. And next it says, books spoke mind to mind, soul to soul, across the abyss of time and distance. And then the final one says, libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. Now I know this one is Sarah J Moss. I'm not sure which one is which of these because I have not read these. We're actually not like a big coaster family and I have gotten so many coasters, but I love the design of these coasters. And next we have, oh, it is their coffee. They did say that they were gonna include coffee in the box and you guys know, I love me some coffee. This is an Alcrate exclusive, Book Bay Brew, Bell's Library, Nutty Bright, A Touch of This Provincial Life, handcrafted by Carventy's Coffee. Can't really smell it, but I love coffee, so this is definitely gonna be used. And next we have our monthly enamel pin. This was designed in collaboration with Brio and Brandish. Oh, I love them. Their enamel pins are always amazing. Such great quality. And this says Child of the Library. And it has like books and a cat. Oh, this is my favorite enamel pin that we have gotten from them yet. I love this. I love the pink. Pink's my favorite color. Books, a cat. Yes, I, I love it. And next is the bookends. They did tell us they were gonna be including Narnia-inspired bookends. There are two of them, and it's the iconic lamppost with some trees, and then I don't know if these are stars or supposed to be snowflakes, I don't know. And the bottom is so pretty. These are amazing. I actually don't have any bookends, so this is, this is perfect. And next we have a pillow. Oh, it's an it's another tote. Okay. It says, dream up something wild and improbable, oh. Lainey Taylor. So of course this is inspired by Strange the Dreamer. I've actually not read that book, but it's a very pretty design. I will say though, I definitely prefer the tote bag we got in Ledger Crate over this one. But this is still absolutely gorgeous. And you can never have too many tote bags, so I love it. And we are to the book. Oh, and it came with a little sticker that says, Magic can twist the purest hearts. And of course, we have a letter from the author. Um, we don't have an exclusive art print. It's just the um, cover of the book. And this is the Alcrate edition of this book. They always change the cover. So it looks like they changed the color which was from green to purple. I actually really like the purple. Okay, that's super pretty. Let's see what it looks like without, and it is signed. So it is black and purple with silver on the spine. But guys, that was everything from Alcrate. Let's take a quick look at the pamphlet. So yeah, it just shows the Alcrate edition versus the regular edition. Um, oh, and they changed the fonts from silver to gold. I really, really like the Alcrate edition. And it tells us about Hey Atlas Creative. And it tells us about next month's theme, which we have the card as well, which is Tournaments and Trials. Ooh. And every July box will include the next mug in the series from artist Kara Kosik, which is so exciting because I have not got any of the mugs. Um, and it also says we will have exciting items inspired by Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the Hunger Games, the Selection, the Night Circus, and a Gathering of Shadows. The Selection, oh my gosh. I'm so glad that's finally getting really, really popular and getting included in these boxes because if you guys have not read the Selection series, 
It is so good. I've already read it several, several times. But guys, that was everything from Alcrate. As always, you'll have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? Definitely for me, the Narnia bookends were my favorite. I really liked the coasters and the coffee and the enamel pen. But I will say, I think I'm going to go ahead and just say that Alcrate is out of the running to win this month because I did love everything but some of the items in the other boxes just blew my mind but yeah I'm sorry I'll create you did not win this month that doesn't mean the book didn't win because I still haven't battled those out yet but yeah I'm sorry I'll create did not win so that means that it is down to literary crate versus fairy loot I'm actually in love with Lit Drew Crate this month. They did such a good job. I love the tote bag, the puzzle, the little book plates. But for me, the crown and glory is their Tom Riddle diary notebook with the invisible ink pen. I mean, this is just amazing but guys remember fairy loot had this amazing book box the reading journal the harry potter tarot cards the avatar notebook the iron on patch the socks enamel pin two bookmarks the paper clip sets the tea so i mean we got tons more stuff in fairy loot than we did lit joy crates like we got 10 actual item items and that's not counting individually that's just the products we actually got 10 items from fairy loot and we only got six items from lit joy crates the number of items doesn't always count to me but in this case with both boxes being amazing we definitely got more from fairy loot and i'm just i'm just in love like with just everything, looking at everything just makes me smile. Alcrate and Litger Crate, you guys were great contenders this month. Great boxes, did not, not like anything from your boxes. But guys, Fairy Loot killed it this month. We got so many great items this month. It was just amazing. I, I, I just, I can't. So yes, that is my final decision. Fairy Loot has won the book box battle for June. Um, and this is actually their first time in my book box battle videos and they won. So yay, Fairy Loot! But guys, now it is time to decide which exclusive edition of this book is the best, in my opinion. So as a recap, Alcrate has the exclusive cover, which they've changed the colors to purple, which I absolutely love, the lettering to gold, and then for Litcher Crate, the only thing exclusive um, is the reversible dust jacket, and all of these are signed. I'm not saying that because they're all signed. And then for Fairy Loot, the only exclusive thing is the sprayed edges. So yeah, this is actually, I think, harder than picking which box won. This is so hard because I love the purple, but I love the sprayed edges. And then I love the reversible dust jacket, but I don't need three copies of the same book. Oh gosh, this is hard. I think it's fairy loot, guys. The sprayed edges just are just gorgeous. But I absolutely love this purple. So I will probably end up keeping both copies of this just because I love them both. So yeah, I would probably end up giving my Lit Drew Crate edition away on my Instagram in a giveaway. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it on the screen. Feel free to follow me. So yeah, I'll probably give this one away. So someone might get this edition with the exclusive dust jacket. So guys, as always, you will have to let me know what you think. Do you agree with my decision that Fairy Loot won, um, both in overall box and book? Or do you think Lidger Crate or Alcrate should have won? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Bye. For a distrib dist distributing? Distributing? Show, 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 why not?
maybe. Jesus, mother of Joseph. Ha 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 ha. Mm, sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, hey, <laughs> might help if I go to the right place to open it. Ooh, crazy. Tarot cards, is that how you say it? Tarot, tarot, tarot cards? Sabotage, release, sabotage. Sabotage? God, I went to college. <laughs> Open. Look, 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 look. There we go. <laughs> Book, boo, brew. Book, boo, but, but, mother of charge. I don't know, I probably said that wrong as I say everything wrong. July. July. For, so, for June, so that I get my two favorites. Oh, <gasps> no. You guys, it won't fit. Fairy Loot's book is bigger because the dust jacket won't fit. Because I wanted to steal the dust jacket from Alcrate. It's still, whoa. <laughs> it went down. Tired, I'm tired. Woo. <gasps> Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. You've been such a good boy. Okay, go get your Play-Doh up and let's go watch TV.